Temperature mapping begins by preparing a data logger. Staff connect the data logger to the data logger software and configure a number of items including start time, log time, stop time, sample interval, and probe descriptions. Staff then fill out a temperature mapping worksheet. This document records information including the name and serial number of the unit being mapped, start and stop dates and times, room temperature, unit temperature before and after mapping, probe placement, displace boxes and their temporary storage location, and names of staff performing the mapping. The data logger probes are then secured to boxes that will be placed into the freezer. The probes are labeled according to the location they will be placed in the freezer. Working quickly, staff place the probes in the predetermined freezer locations. Placement of probes must occur in a timely fashion to avoid unnecessary increases in freezer temperature. Activity in the freezer must temporarily cease if the temperature alarm is triggered. Once probes are placed, the freezer should remain unopened for the duration of temperature mapping. The data logger and probes are secured to the freezer and a temperature mapping worksheet is placed on the freezer. After temperature mapping is complete, staff extract a historical data report and graphs from the data logger. Reviewing the data allows staff to document whether or not any deficiencies were identified during mapping. Data and graphs are examined to look for individual probes with average, minimum, or maximum temperatures that exceed alarm set points excessive temperature fluctuations due to compressor cycling, and large differences between storage unit temperature displays and the average mapped freezer temperature. After the initial mapping, this process is completed according to a predetermined schedule.